if they are so powerful, are they safe? Uh, yes. Again, here's where you need to know your source. Um, you, essential oil molecules are super small. They get into every cell of your body. I've talked about this throughout all the videos. Um, you can go back and reference some of those videos if you need to, but um, you don't want those uh, essential oil molecules laden with chemicals, fertilizers, solvents, extenders, alcohols, pesticides, herbicides, um, or other carrier oils, okay, that are supposed to be 100% pure. So you got to know your source. We've talked about this, but um, yes, as far as young living oils, they are safe. They're very safe. We use them with our whole family, with our pets, with our children, in our home, in our food and drinks. Um, they're very safe. So they're labeled for youth. Um, if you'll look here, this is Thieves. Um, on the side, it tells what's in it. It says clove, lemon, cinnamon, eucalyptus, rosemary. That's it. That's what's in it. 100% pure therapeutic grade essential oil. And then there's a little label here that you can peel up and it'll tell you how to use it. Directions, dilute one drop with four drops of carrier oil. Put in a capsule and take one daily. You can also use this topically. Um, uh, we put it in a roller bottle and use it on the bottom of our kids' feet. I put it in their feet, excuse me. Uh, I put it in a diffuser um, when we're feeling under the weather. It's helpful with immune support. Um, so they're labeled for use. It's easy to use. You just read the label and figure out how to use them. Um, some of them, like the citrus, are photosensitive, so you don't want to put it on your skin and then go right out in the sun. You could get um, blister and sunburn and things like that. Um, some of them will, like the thieves, will say to dilute with a carrier oil. You can use any type of fatty vegetable oil that you have. Coconut, almond, uh, grape seed, olive oil, whatever you got in your pantry is fine. Otherwise, you can go to um, really any grocery store will carry most of those. Um, if you do have a skin reaction, you want to not wash it because if you put oil on your skin, you put water on top, it will drive the oil down in because they don't mix. Um, you want to just add more oil. So if you do have a skin reaction, it's important to know that that's also not an allergic reaction. Um, it's a detox reaction. It's actually the essential oils drawing toxins out of your skin. Okay, so you just want to add more carrier oil, coconut or whatever you have. Um, you always want to dilute oils with children because their skin is sensitive. Um, and because their little bodies take the oils in very, very rapidly and it's kind of overwhelming. Um, so always dilute with children. Um, the best way to use oils is to find out work, what works best for you guys and then work it into your routine. Okay, so we use um, citrus in the morning or lavender at night or thieves throughout the day or um, different days we do different things. I like citrus fresh in my water or lemon. Um, mint, peppermint is really good in... Uh, like a tea or a coffee or hot cocoa or milkshakes. Um, I like it in a lot of food stuff, but you can use it however it works best for you. Um, so you just got to kind of play around with them a little bit. When you get your starter kit, you test them out, smell them all, see which one is your favorite, try applying them, try putting them in your diffuser, um, see what you like, and then play around with it. Uh, Young Living also has a whole entire line of oils that are grass oils, uh, generally regarded as safe for consumption by the FDA. Um, and here's where I talked about the controversy with that before, okay? You don't want to be just buying an essential oil from Kohl's, for example, um, and then putting it in your tea. You don't, because they aren't safe, okay? Um, Young Living is one of the only oil companies in the world that has um, oils that are safe for consumption. So they make it really easy on you. They're white. They have white labels. Okay, there's the difference. This one's white. This one's not. Okay, the white ones you can take internally. Um, pretty easy. You can put them in tea water uh, on your food. You can put them in a capsule and take them. Some of them don't taste that great. For example, Copaiba. I tried making a tea with it once. It didn't taste very good. Um, lemon, fantastic in water. <laughs> I used it on um, some fish the other night. Okay, you can cook with them. They have like a whole cooking line, black pepper, they have oregano, um, thyme, rosemary, all those different like cooking oils. You can put them in your soups, your stews, your um, pasta sauces or whatever. Um, so here's where the second giveaway comes in. Okay, I want you to look in two cabinets of your home, your bath, your 
laundry, or your kitchen cabinets, okay? Find a product with an ingredient that you don't know what it is and put the product in the ingredient below and you'll be entered to win. 